Hi guys, today I wanted to show you a really quick way of making your own filler cards with the leftover pieces of your kit. So here I'm just going through, I've got um, all the leftover papers that I've got um, and I'm just choosing a few that I like and I'm going to cut them down. Now just when you're cutting the papers down, just pay attention to where you're cutting them from. Like for this one, I mean I could have just cut it down and then the stripes would have been horizontal but instead I wanted the stripes vertical so I've just been careful with how I trimmed that. I mean the, the planar patterns it's easy enough just to cut it down to 4 by 6 and then cut two 3 by 4 cards out of it. And again here's another one with the dots. I just want to be a bit careful um, and making sure I'm trimming out the dots the way I want them. So I want um, two of one colour and one of another. So I'm just being careful on how I'm going to cut them and also making sure that they're somewhat centred. So now I've trimmed down a few cards. I've also got this piece of paper that was sort of like a cut apart sheet. So I'm just going to trim down and cut out the little parts that I think I might use. Um, I don't think I'll use all of them, but I'll cut down the ones that I think I will use. Um, some of the ones in here are quite summery based and we're definitely heading into winter rather than summer so they're not quite appropriate but some of them are um, not summer related so can definitely be used so I'm just trimming them down and don't be afraid to trim them out a different shape than what they were intended so one I've cut the bottom off and the other I've just trimmed a bit shorter so it's more of a square and the other thing I'm going to use is this uh, ephemera pieces pack which I never even opened for my project life so there's some really beautiful pieces in there and I want to make sure I use them up. So again I'm just going through and picking out some of the ones I think I might use, some of the ones that are more general rather than summer base. And also I probably prefer the smaller pieces rather than these larger ones. but I really loved those tags too, so I've pulled them all out and all I'm gonna do really is just start trying to match up papers and pieces. So I have some vague ideas, I could use the um, letters for weekend, a camera would be a really cute one to use, it's always appropriate. This one here, I really love the itinerary, um, the gold on it, but itinerary didn't really work for me, so I think I'll cover that up with a sticker or something. I loved that tag but it was a little bit big to put a leaf behind it so it really all I'm doing is just shuffling things around until I find some designs that I like. And the other thing you can do is add to um, your 3x4s with some of the other scraps that I've got left over. So, a lot of these 3x4s ended up being quite brown and I wanted maybe less brown so I'm going to add some scraps of paper to it. And the best way I find is rather than to procrastinate and shuffle around too much is actually just to commit. So I am going to start gluing stuff down. And then these ones here, like I really love that cactus, um, but it just needed a bit more colour behind it. So I really wanted to use this pink. So I'm just going to stick down um, my 3x4 to the back of the pink paper and then just trim it out so it um, fits nicely. And then I can work out whether I want the cactus on the left or the right or maybe something else but in the end I did go with the cactus. I loved that tag but again I wasn't that fond of all the brown so I wanted to put it on something else but it didn't really stand out enough and so before I stick this tag down I'm just going to put a little bit of twine through it. You could stick it on an angle or layer stuff behind it but I just like it kind of simple. And before I trim that down, I'm just going to tie a knot in the end of it, just to add a bit more texture. And last one, so I had this happy weekend, um, and again, I couldn't really work out how to do it until I put a scrap down the wrong way like this and realised you could cover up the hole with the wee piece that I had cut. So I got to add way more colour and use the tear strip. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue and then for a bit of texture I'm going to add some staples. And to some of these other ones I'm going to add some stickers that were in the um, Citrus Swiss Kit Sprinkles um, April Kit. But before I stick all that down I'm going to add a little bit more texture with my sewing machine. So I've just stitched through um, some of the pieces that I've glued down. It just adds a bit more dimension and makes them look a bit fancier. 
And like I said to that one, I was going to cover up itinerary and just add a label sticker and that way when I use it in a spread I can just stamp on whatever sentiment I want. Now this card here I stitched all around the outside and I'm going to add a sticker into the, cent into the center of the camera so a smile seemed appropriate. So that one I just uh, stitched down the cactus and I wanted to add something on top of it. I loved this, this is paradise, but it's too big so don't be afraid to actually chop up the little pieces as well just to make them fit a bit better. Again that one I had just stitched around the outside of it and this one I just done some messy stitching um, that I'm going to layer some stickers on top of. So I thought I would just do one but then I was going to add two stickers to make this real cluster down the bottom. And that my friends is how you can really simply use your leftover bits and pieces from your kits to create your own filler cards that will match perfectly with the rest of your layouts. If you want to keep watching there's a couple more videos on screen, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you next time, bye!